goodies, the D-Rock 100, and welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow. Okay, so you might be wondering, where the heck are we? We're in a route just east of Vermilion City. And there's actually something that I actually never had a chance to show you guys. I didn't really intend to show you this, but I kind of find this one to be kind of pointless. You need to talk to this guy. I want to press Oak 8. If you caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, it's supposed to give you an item finder. So, guess what? We caught 50 kinds of Pokemon. So this will use the item finder. It helps detect items when they are not on the ground. Oh, well, when they're not visible to the ground. Okay. So now I'm gonna head off to the next location. Okay, so here I am in Fuchsia City. Is there another aid in here? Yep, right here. You need to talk to this person. You got 50 kinds of Pokemon. I'm supposed to give you an experience all. Yes, indeed. This item! It gives experience points to all the Pokemon with you, even if they don't fight. It does, however, reduce the amount of experience for each Pokemon. If you don't need it, destroy it in the v by PC. This item! It is a remarkable item! It was changed to the experience share in Generation 2, but in Gen 6, they practically brought it back! And you know what? I will gladly show you a little demonstration of it. In battle. We found a Pidgeotto! So let's go ahead. This. Okay. Excuse me? Blow my Charizard away? Eh. It'll do. Let's try that again. Okay, so this way it pretty much just... It cuts everything by a six of everything. For all the Pokemon in your party. That is going to hinder things a lot. So anyway, I think there's one last place that I want to check, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back! I was actually incorrect, there is no other place of where we can go to check out our Pokedex. And I thought that would be where we need to check to see if we have any 40 new Pokemon in our Pokedex, but oh well. Anyway, in the last episode, we defeated Giovanni at the Subco and defeated Sabrina. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look around here at the infamous... Nope. This place. Pokemon Mansion. I believe that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Get the Pokemon Mansion. Okay. Um, before I cover the new Pokemon that you can find out here, there was actually something that I actually overlooked. There was a Pokemon on our way south from Pallet Town where I actually forgot to talk about this one Pokemon. With the Super Rod, you'll be able to find Tentacruel. Tentacruel as a Pokemon. It is a very, very good defensive Pokemon. And I like this thing a lot. And, excuse me for a second, I'm gonna go and get some repels. Okay, I got I had none. But anyway, uh, Tentacruel. It is, surprisingly, a very good Pokemon. If you haven't gotten the chance to get yourself a really good water type, Tentacruel is a good one that I would recommend. And of course we can't carry it anymore. It was decent in this game, but it got even better in the later generation. And if you want to know on how good... Ugh. There's hardly any words that can describe how good this Pokemon is in later generations. Anyway. Uh, now that I, I've also restored the old Amber, the old Amber that was revived got me, wait for it, this. This is Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl, it is a very, very fast Pokemon, and quite arguably one of the best Pokemon I've ever used. I've used one in a previous LP. And it served me well. 
Sure, it was at level 5 when I first got it, but in this game, we can acquire these at level 20. So, if you want to have a very fast Pokemon, Aerodactyl's your guy. It was decent in this game, but it got even better. And I love this thing to death. Okay, so anyway, welcome to the Pokemon Mansion. There is actually something that's kind of grim about this place. Um, as you can see, this pathway right here is going to be blocked off. But we actually don't want to go this way, I don't think, yet. But there's something right here that's blocking our way. But we also want to read these journal entries. July 5th, in Guiana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Uh, okay. What are you? I can't carry more items. And you know what? I'll come back to that. I don't want to worry about that for a little while. Um, what else is there? Another blocked way, so what we need to do is. There's a statue right over here. Is there anything down here? Oh, there's a. There's a trainer in here? But you know what? I'm, I'm not uh, risking it. So, Tortuga, get out in front. Can't get out. This whole place is in one big puzzle. Oh, you are a trainer! What? And you're a burglar? How is that thing not a Charmeleon? But you know what? You've disgraced yourself. Oh, by the way, Tortuga learned Skull Bash off screen. It was put into good use. Oh, you're gonna show off your rage, huh? Alright. Try that. Ooh! That's got to hurt. Yes, 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 I know. I know. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a Charmeleon. Um, I guess while I'm going through with these battles, I guess I can talk about three new Pokemon that you can find in here. One of them is Grimer. Like I talked about with Muck, Grimer is actually a really nice special wall. It's slow as heck in this game, but like I said, at one point, it got even better in the later generation. And trust me, I I wanted to, wanted to use the one in a later generation, but I'm more of a sweeper rather than a slow and steady, always wins the race kind of person. You see what I mean? Eh, no big deal. Alright, secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? And that would do this. It opens up these doorways right here. And I didn't think there was anything in here of interest. Uh, anyway, uh, next up, the other Pokemon that you can find in here is Growlithe. Growlithe, as a Pokemon. It is a very, very good uh, fire type. In fact, it's one of my all-time favorite fire types once it fully evolves into Arcanine. And man, this thing is no pushover. It becomes one of the fastest enough fire attacks in the game, and one of the best special attackers in the game as well. And I love it. July 10th, we christened a newly discovered Pokemon, Mew. Ah yes, Mew. Um, a little bit of an interesting little trivia. For those of you that know, in 2003, I believe it was, there is a glitch that actually shows that Mew can actually be catchable in this game in a specific way. How that works is very complicated. But I'm not going to worry about Mew, since I don't really find it to be that important. How is that not a Raticate? That thing is very high level! Good lord, might! Oh yeah, I forgot about the other Pokémon. Um, the last Pokemon that we can find is Ditto! Ditto! It is a very interesting Pokemon. It is well known for transforming into any Pokemon that it comes that it sees thanks to its move Transform. 
Not only that, but it makes it even harder to catch, depending on what it transformed into. It is very weird on how this Pokemon works. It got more useful in the later generation, more specifically the second generation. And apparently we got a fighter here. My mentor once lived here. Your mentor? What are you, a crook? Oh, you're just a crazy scientist. I don't think you're quite PhD material. Then again, what do I know? I ain't no uh, scientist, so I got nowhere to talk about it. It's... Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. I'm kind of disappointed that Tortuga hasn't learned any other really good moves yet. Like, I know it learns a pretty good move at a later level. But, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Good lord. That's gonna get annoying. Perhaps getting that experience is only probably the worst idea ever. And crap. What am I talking about? I keep forgetting that Magneton is a pure electric type in this generation. Steel didn't exist yet. Ah, crap. Come on. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, wow, that really did. Are you kidding me? I'm paralyzed and confused. Oh, one of my friends is gonna give me a problem with that. So not only has my speed got cut in half, but I also have a chance of not moving this turn, or I get a chance of getting hit in the face. Ugh. I really I probably shouldn't have gotten that, because that's really going to be a real pain in the butt. Oh well. But like they said, if I don't really need it, I can just not put it back into my PC. Ooh, light screen. Okay. There we go. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Shut up. Alright, so now I believe we want to fall down this one? Crap! It wasn't this one. Okay. The way how we navigate through here is gonna be a little bit puzzling. And no, I did not want to- Actually, I do want to come up here. February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. Oh, you guys are gonna be seeing Mewtwo later on. Alright. Ooh, we got a max potion! It's nice. Okay. Now we really like to get through the entire Cinnabar Island before moving on, because there is a couple of things I want to show off before we head off of the UE4. Or more specifically, the, um, Victory Road, which is the place where we're going to be going to after I conquer the final gem. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put Volti out in the front because it's our highest level Pokemon. Giving me a much more better chance of avoiding any stupid random encounters. Okay. Now I know in the third generation, or more specifically Fire Red and Leaf Green, those statues become Mewtwo statues. Okay. Hey, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Okay, there's an item right here, but what is it? Okay. So I'm gonna do a little look around to see if where is which. I think that just gets us out of here, and that'll take... That'll actually take us back to the very beginning, but I don't want to do that yet. This will take us to the basement. And there is a couple of good items that we can get in here. But what is this? September the 1st. You two is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendons. In other words... It's beyond even us now. And I... You know what? I gotta use this. 
and I think this is supposed to be the island that we're supposed to be getting. Ooh, forest door! Not exactly the island that I was looking for, but we need an item to progress to progress forward. And I remember back then I used to get stuck on these puzzles a lot. Now, is there a statue in here? Yes, there is. And I want to check this item. Wait, what was this item again? Take down. Ooh, take down! You know what? Not surprised I've overlooked that. I am definitely going to do that real quick. Now, let's get rid of... Rap. I know it may sound pretty bad, but I really need to get rid of that move. It's Team 14. Now, if I recall correctly, I think that is... Blizzard? Yes, Blizzard! And I am actually indeed going to teach that to Tortuga. Because I actually want to have learned some pretty good ice time moves. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Yeah, I'll get rid of Bubble Beam because I think Blizzard's a really good move. And I probably have one really good water type move, but it's going to get an even better one later on. Whoa! Level 46! Good lord, Might! Okay. So now, let's get the fudge out of here. Because that one is now blocked, which means that there is a couple of items that we can get in here. Hello, Mr. Professor. Goodbye, Mr. Professor. Well, that is after I get another max to her repel up and running. Here we go. Uh, there's a couple of beds in here. Come on! Eradicate! Leave me alone! I know I'm a pretty high level, but still! Give us a little bit of some space here! Um, I believe this one... Actually, you know what? I don't want to get that one. Because I know that's another TM, and that one is Solar Beam. Oh, wait! Uh, but then again, Aroma Armor has a lot of grass type moves on it, so I want to hold off on that for a while. <sighs> Radicate, I will shock you to death if you do that again. Gabish. So, goodbye. This. I suppose that Solar Beam and that Iron Magic Pass was supposed to be the iron that we need. But then again, there's still a little bit more, so... You know what? Yeah, you know what? Screw it! I can't... I don't want to waste this anymore. I am going to get rid of... Hmm... I'll get rid of Vine Whip, I guess. Yeah, if I had to move Sunny Day, that would actually help me out a whole lot. Is this it? Yes! This is it! The Secret Key! Secret Key? So now... Let's get the fudge out of here. Spinning in circles! Whee! Okay. Oh yeah, I need to heal. One second. Sorry about the two second delay. But anyway. Now we go through here. And this is the last thing I'm going to show off for this episode. We have these machines right here. They are useful for helping us to get to... Our gym trainer. Or our gym leader, I guess. <clears throat> Pokemon quiz. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face the trainer blocking the way. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Can it be evolved into Butterfree? Yes. That's absolutely correct. Go on through. Now, we can choose to take on these gym trainers, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. Nope, there are eight. Go on through. What's, what's this one? Oh, I guess we don't need to worry about that one. Okay. Pokemon evolves three times. No, it does not. It evolves twice. Okay. Alright, Pokemon quiz. 
Are Thunder Moves effective against ground element types? No, they are not. That is something that many people tend to overlook. It's rock type moves and that are effective against it. Ground type moves are immune to them. Here we go. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Uh, I kind of want to say yes, I guess. Okay, phew. Okay, because I really don't want to face the trainer because I'm actually running a little bit low on time. And this should be the last one. Here we go. Kids want to contain a tomb tombstone? <laughs> It contains dig. I should know. I used to one. Now, it's time for this guy. This guy is gonna be fine. So let's go ahead. Let's put Bully up in the front. I know Dragonair hasn't had any good moments to shine. No one has aroma, but give it time. Ha! I am Billy. I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. I should I give him a <clears throat> The Pokemon will incinerate all challenges! <laughs> you better have burn here! Acting actually hurt a little bit. <laughs> anyway, this is Blaine. Blaine has three Pokemon. His first one's a level 48 Nine Tails. Pure Fire type with Confuse Ray, Quick Attack, Tail Whip, Flame Thrower. Oh boy. This thing ain't no pushover. Crap. Come on, don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Yes! It's nice. Alright, go bully. Maybe I'll start liking you a whole lot more. Alright. Who's up next? Alright, next up! Rabbit Dash! Level 50! Pure Fire Type! Tail Whip! Stomp! Growl and Fire Spin! Uh, let's get Bully out. Bully's actually been a good use for me. Just so you know, Rabbit Dash! It is the fastest Pokemon in the game! So, be warned, this thing is a beast. Or I guess in this case, a horse, a unicorn. It's kind of a more of a physically offensive Pokemon, which is very weird. But, ow, I know. Okay. His last Pokemon. Arcanine, level 54. Pure Fire Time with Reflect, Take Down, Fire Blast. Flamethrower! Really? This is when things are gonna go from crazy to shit. Alright. If you're a really powerful water type Pokemon, now is your chance. Oh, okay. That's a nothing. And that is it! Blaine has been put out. It's nice. We defeated Blaine! I have burnt out! You have earned the Volcano Badge! Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. Team 38! Fire Blast! You know what? You are absolutely right, old man. And it's about darn time that Charizard actually learned a really good fire type move aside from Ember. But Bully come on that? I didn't know that! And now. This is happening! Ember! Go away! 
So now that we've gotten that, we defeated Blaine, we got into the Pokemon Mansion, I think we're pretty good to end things off right here. So, next time on Pokemon Yellow, aside from that, we are going to be heading back to Viridian City and take on the final gym. And possibly we'll be doing some more along the way. So, victory low. See you guys then.